Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand, and today I'm going to show you how I style my current haircut, or lack thereof. There's a current meme going all over um, social media that says no one, absolutely no one, not even your mother, has ever asked to see your current skin routine. And likewise, I've seen a similar one that said no one has ever asked to see your hair routine. But that is not the case. We've had many comments on the YouTube feed asking for a tutorial on how I style my current haircut. And I say lack thereof because I've really not had a haircut since back in June, late June, um, when I had my um, bald fade by Jake the Barber. And I had a slight trim, as I've talked about before, by um, Bray Barbers. Uh, earlier in the spring. Um, and that was really to take off some of the length in the back and to, to even it up a little bit, but I have had uh, no haircut. So this is my hair um, out of the shower, and I'll explain a little bit about the timing of that for me. Um, I actually go to the gym early in the morning. I take a shower at the gym, and so my hair is wet. I don't comb it. I just towel it dry. Uh, it takes about 12 minutes, 15 minutes to get to the gym. I get back. I might have a uh, shake or a cup of coffee. And so it's probably about 30 minutes, 35 minutes from the time I wash my hair and until I'm at this point. So for the most part, my hair is, I would say, about 60% dry. Um, the current haircut I have really is my hair growing out um, from um, nine months ago and without doing anything, but just trimming a little off the length in the back. So um, an approach I've taken differently, as I've talked about in other videos where I've continued to cut maybe the sides as the top cut, catch, caught up. In this case, I've actually just let it grow. And I think if I ever do this again, after I cut this off, um, I will do that again. I think it's more successful in just letting a hair uh, cut. Let your hair grow. If you want it longer, you just have to let it go and it'll get there faster by just doing that. So back again, um, back to uh, that morning routine, washing my hair, letting it air dry with not even combing it. And so you can actually see that I have a bit of wave in my hair, uh, not uh, too much. Um, it's not poker straight. Uh, when I was a kid, it was absolutely straight. And, um, and when my hair gets longer, it'll actually start to curl up, as you can see back here in the back. Um, what's evident when my hair gets longer are, are cowlicks and different areas where I have uh, maybe a natural part, uh, which is, since I didn't uh, comb it into place, this is where it fell into place. So this is my natural part, which coincides with where my hair is probably most dramatically colored, uh, fortuitous for me. Um, but I have uh, some cowlicks related in the back here where my hair tends to flip out and um, um, a little bit in the front related to the fact that it's pushing up in the front here. That's actually not a, a uh, colic that I would be too concerned about. So my morning routine for my hair is actually pretty simple. It's always been simple for my hair. I uh, just quickly dry it and uh, add a little bit of product, and it's actually uh, not that much different in this case. So with my hair almost dry, turn around and show you the sides here. You can actually see how long it's actually getting here and how dark it is in the back. And you'll often see the back of my hair. Um, what I'll do now is actually take a comb. These two types of comb here, super wide tooth comb, and then I use my large uh, beard brain comb. So, um, the only thing I do is I blow dry my hair um, kind of upside down. So um, this might be speeded up for you a little bit. It actually doesn't take me long. Using a hair dryer that gets uh, has pretty hot setting, I, I dry my hair on hot. I'm going to about 95% dry, not totally dry. And I'm uh, gonna hit it with the cold button in certain areas. So I dry my hair overall, and then what I do is those problem areas of my hair where I have a cowlick, where you might have a cowlick, you can actually put the hair in a different direction, and I use a round brush for that. But first of all, let me get some of the moisture out of my hair. So that's 
moisture out of my hair. It takes no time. I think my hair has become porous as I've gotten older. Older hair is different, or hair on older guys is a little different. Your hair tends to get a little more coarse, a little more porous. Um, it's basically not as shiny as it was. Um, so it's just some of the facts of life. Um, so a lot of times, this will be my hair, and I'll call it a day. Um, and I'm gonna show you one little thing I do with that round brush, what I mentioned before. Because I have a cowlick located in the back here, what I do is I take the new round beer brand brush. Prior to that, you might um, have seen me use a vent brush or a uh, nylon brush. Um, the round brush from beer brand works great too. And I'll just roll in there. Now, since my hair is almost dry, you're not going to get as much bang from a hair dryer anymore if it's too dry. The only styling products, um, well actually, the main styling product that I use is the um, sea salt spray. As my hair has gotten longer, when my hair was shorter, it was more styling balm, um, maybe sometimes gels. Uh, but with my hair being longer, um, I'm, I'm turning to the sea salt spray without fail. So if you have a longer top on your hair, um, I, I really recommend the sea salt spray. So what I'll do is my hair is pretty much, at this point, almost 100% dry. So what I'll do is take the sea salt spray, comb it through. And then once it's combed through, that's distributing the product, I then kind of mess it up with my fingers. So that's basically what I'm doing with my hair as it's longer. Um, it's really relying on the natural wave in my hair. So if you have curly hair, um, getting your, you might be dealing with a curl in your hair. If your hair is straight, you have a different uh, situation. But with a medium texture hair um, that has a little bit of wave, I'm able to work with some of the cowlicks in my hair and also the natural wave and kind of just letting it go. So people say, wow, you must be spending more time on your hair as it gets longer. And actually, I'm spending no more time on my hair. And part of that is by letting it dry naturally. So if you have an opportunity to maybe shower in the morning, then you know, do your reading, check your email, uh, eat your breakfast, um, or if you're doing this at night, fill something in in that slot. Take half an hour, 45 minutes, let your hair dry naturally. Um, you'll actually see where the natural wave is in your hair, and then you can build on that. So if you immediately jump out of the shower, blow dry your hair, you kind of don't know what the natural condition of your hair is. So I'm a, a big supporter of let it go natural, let it dry naturally, and then see what the wave is and build on that. So I know that I have this wave in the front of my hair, which I've always had, and it's becoming more pronounced as my hair gets longer. So I'm gonna continue to work on that, um, work with that as my hair gets really longer. And the goal is to get, get about three more inches on my hair. So adding about six months worth of growth, three more inches, we'll take it down to about here. Imagine that this is gonna be pretty much the direction that that's gonna go as it gets longer. So building on the natural waves, the natural patterns in your hair. So not everyone has a natural wave that they want or a natural pattern that they, uh, that they want. And that's where you can take a round brush, just like in the back of my hair, getting this hair to roll under as opposed to kick out. I uh, use the round brush to actually steer it in a new direction. We do that a lot with our beards. Uh, a lot of guys' beards tend to puff out or um, curl out in different directions. By you know, taking a round brush, you know, we've, uh, I've been able to you know, shape my beard uh, to get into more manageable shape. 
Same thing with your hair. So if you have problem areas in your hair or challenges in your hair, um, you can take the round brush um, or comb and redirect it with the aid of heat. So once my hair is um, in this configuration, sometimes, you know, if there's a little too much moisture from the sea salt spray, I might hit it with the hair dryer. But in this case, I think it looks pretty good. This is where I will take some hairspray. Um, not a sponsored post here, but uh, excellent. So that's it. Um, morning routine, I don't know if we had a clock on that. I'm talking a lot, but I'm guessing here we're about uh, four, four minutes uh, is the time that actually takes me to style on my hair in the morning. Think about my hair at a longer length. Uh, if I'm not getting super sweaty at the gym or if I'm not out doing uh, yard work or garden work, um, I can get uh, two days easily out of my um, um, hair. And um, you know, if I'm not going to the gym at all, I might get three days. So as my hair has gotten longer, um, I've been able to spend less time on it. Um, I can reactivate the sea salt spray or add more sea salt spray with a little bit of water uh, to bring it back for maybe a second day. Kind of Kurt Russell, especially with the um, tank top on here. Anyhow, guys, comment below. Uh, I know a lot of you guys like the haircut. Uh, I get a lot of favorable comments in person from people, uh, but I also get a lot of people saying, hey, Mr. Shorter Hair, and uh, Miss uh, seeing you at the barber. Um, that's coming, I'm sure. I don't, I don't get locked into a particular style. I know that with, as my hair gets longer, my beard is gonna get a little shorter, which I talked about before. I haven't done it quite yet, waiting for uh, the opportunity to do that. But um, I'm going to change the proportion around, and I will be back to, at the barbershop, but probably not in the next uh, six months or so. Comment below and tell us what you think of longer hair on guys, and if you would consider growing your hair longer. Until we meet again, beard on. All right, guys, stop. Before you watch our next video, let me tell you, our sea salt spray. This product is amazing for your hair. It gives movable texture. It's like a dry shampoo, so if you go in between days of washing your hair, it'll help your hair extend a little bit longer, and it smells absolutely amazing. Find it over at beardbrand.com.